In this video we're going to work out the volume of an ellipsoid given by given by this equation. So before we can work out the volume of this ellipsoid we need to um, understand what's going on. So we've done this before in our section on quadric surfaces. So um, if we put um, if we put zero into the y then you're looking at a vertical sheet of paper you're looking at a vertical sheet of paper where y equals zero so here when, when y equals zero you're, you're going to get a perfect circle so when when you put zero into this y this thing here would disappear giving you an equation of a circle of radius one so this is a perfect circle and then uh, if you if you move in the y direction you're going to get a smaller circle you're, you're going to get a smaller circle, you're going to get a smaller circle and so on and you're going to get a smaller circle in the negative direction as well and then if you put um, if you put zero into the z then uh, then you're looking at uh, an elevation of zero so that that means you've got your horizontal sheet of paper here where you, you're going to get an ellipse you're going to get an ellipse uh, y over 3 squared where the y has been stretched by a factor of 3 one, two, three. While well, looking, looking, looking down on the th this thing, it will then it will look like this. So me asking you to work out the volume of this thing here is the same as me asking you to work out the double integral of of the uh, well. The surface in our case would be z. So looking at this, you would make z to be the subject. So rearrange this to make z to be the subject. So that means um, uh, one minus x. Uh, minus uh, 1 over 9 y squared uh, take away x squared so this uh, remember when you square root you get two versions but let's let's not let's um, let's forget about the negative version let's just look at the positive version and then later on we can times it by 2 so so look at the positive version only and then later times it by 2 well this is our surface this is our surface and the region which I'm asking you to integrate over is this region here. You're looking at an ellipse. So if, if you put zero into the z, uh, you're going to get a horizontal sheet of paper like this. Uh, so so you're going to get an ellipse like this, which will look like this. So so I'm asking you to to integrate over this thing here, and we've got some sort of um, this is like our surface in 3D, if you like. Well. You working out the volume of this thing is you trying to um, evaluate this double integral in this region. I hope you can follow that. If you can't, think about it and then carry on watching the video. Um, but the volume is given by this thing here over this. Now we can use polar coordinates. So when, when, uh, whenever you, you're working with polar coordinates, in your mind you've got to have this. Uh, cos theta y equals uh, r sine theta and then you've got r squared equals uh, x squared plus y squared you see this is very similar to this but the thing is um, you've got this pesky 1 over 9 thing here which you you can't really you see you, you can't you can't extract looking at this hang on Looking at this, you um, you can't replace this with r squared because um, you want a perfect x squared plus y squared. But then you've got this constant here, this annoying constant. So instead of um, instead of working in this manner, I want you to reimagine this thing as this. Visualize it as well. Hang on, going back to here. Looking at our uh, looking at um, looking at our diagram. We looked at it in this um, in this way here. This is our this top bit here is our surface. That's this surface here, and our region is this ellipse. But then, if if you rotate this so that the y is pointing vertically upwards, y-axis, and then you've got your um, your hang on, you've got your z-axis, and then you've got your x-axis. So visualize our ellipsoid as being like this. So now, now that this is a perfect circle, now that this is our perfect circle, we can extract our, our if you like, x squared, our x squared plus y squared. But in this case, our axis is z and x. 
So, um, so reimagine our ellipsoid as, uh, as this thing here. So our surface, well, looking at the equation, if you want to, lo looking at our equation, hang on, looking at our equation, if you want the surface, then just make y to be the subject. So times everything by 9. So uh, 9x squared plus y squared plus 9 uh, equals 9. Rearrange it to make y the subject. So that will then give you this thing here. That will then give you this thing here. Remember, when you square root the y, you get the positive version and the negative version. This is a positive surface. This is a negative surface. We don't care about the negative surface. Let's ignore the negative surface. And then later on, we can times it by 2. So that will then give us the whole ellipsoid. Well, anyway, imagine this thing as our surface. So this is our surface. This is our surface. And we are integrating over this region here, where is a perfect circle of radius 1. Um, so hang on. Uh, so, so, so now, that, so now the, now our volume is given by this. We are integrating over this perfect circle. So now let's convert it to polar form. Oh, before we can do that, um, re remember, when you're working polar form, you're, you're, you're integrating it like this. So the radius is from, um, from uh, 0 to 1. And then we're, we're scanning all the way from, so we, we're scanning like this. We're scanning like this, all the way from an angle of 0 to an angle of 2 pi. So we're scanning like this, like this, all the way, all the way around, and then we need to change this to um, to d to r dr d theta. So that would then take us to here. Uh, so the, so the volume is given is given by this thing here, because um, remember x squared plus z squared equals r squared when when you convert it into polar form. So we can put this into here so that will then give us this thing here and then now uh, now just tidy this thing up so imagine this as being um, uh, well you would factorize this so 9 bracket 1 minus 9 uh, minus 1 uh, minus r squared minus r squared uh, square root then then that's the same as root 9 root 1 minus r well that will then take us to here and then uh, this is a constant, so you can uh, so that's the number three. Merge it with this will give you a six. And uh, and when uh, and then imagine this thing here as being a bubble to the power of a half, because that is a square root. And this r here, I, I don't know why. But let's put it in front here. So now now uh, now this whole thing here becomes this. And then you know this is easy to integrate because uh, this is easy to integrate because um, this is the exact derivative, well, near enough the exact derivative of r squared. Well, anyway, we I'm expecting you to be able to integrate this by now. You can use substitution or whatever method, integrate it. It will then give you this thing here. And you're doing it from 0 to 1. You're doing it from 0 to 1. So when you put uh, 1 into here, 1 take away 1 would be 0, this whole thing here would be 0, and then you take away, put 0 into here, this thing here would be 1, and then blah blah, it would give you a third. Now integrate this with respect to theta, so that would be um, theta over 3, from 0 to 2 pi, from 0 to 2 pi, and then that would then give you this, and then simplify it, it will give you 4 pi. So the volume of this ellipsoid is 4 pi. Okay.